Hey guys, welcome back. Today's gonna actually be a double haul video because a while back, Kelsey and I went to Lush and we've been meaning to film that portion for a while. But for some reason we just haven't gotten around to it. And then today I also went to Ulta and got a few things. So, enjoy! Okay, so we're gonna film my portion of this first. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do the Ulta stuff first. Don't mind the tail. It's Kelsey's cat. <laughs> Ninja. Hi. But move. <laughs> Alright, so Ulta is currently doing their 21 Days of Beauty. Today is actually the last day, which is why I really wanted to go. They had a couple things on sale that I really wanted. First of which is this Clinique set. It's normally $20 about. It's normally receipt. $19.50. I got it on sale for $9.75. And it's the three step, so it has the face soap, the moisturizer, and the clarifying lotion in it. And I've been wanting to try this for a while, so this will actually be up perfect for me because I'm not spending too much on it. Next up is the Anastasia, or Anastasia, however you want to pronounce it, Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil. I got mine in the shade Taupe. It's got the pencil on one end and this little bully on the other. Mm. Color swatchy, color swatchy. Taupe is going to go really well with my skin tone and my eyebrows and everything. And I also, if I can get the cap back on, picked up a second one for Kelsey because I knew she needed one. And wanted one. Back in the packaging for you. And then the last thing that I got from Ulta, if I can find where it went, is the... Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair. I just had you open a second ago. Why I didn't leave you out, I will never know. Because I like to torment myself with packaging, that's why. There we go. In the shade... This one is in the shade Fair. And I, whenever I'm doing concealers, I test them on the inside of my arm. So that way I can check and make sure that it is actually going to match my skin tone. So what I'll do is I'll just do a little swatchy like that, which you can actually still see my other swatch there. And then just kind of buff it out, blend it out a little bit and make sure it's going to look good with my skin tone because obviously my face is going to be a little bit darker than the inside of my arm. But not as dark as my arms get during the summer. <laughs> get back in there. Alright. Thought I heard someone coming in the door. And then I've got all my Lush stuff. I got a couple of samples while we were there. I got a sample of Charity Pot, which is their lotion that 100% of all the sales, I just looked this up online last night because I was trying to figure out if it was a lotion or a body cream or anything like that. 100% of the sales gets donated to something. I don't remember what. I want to say it was some fundraising organization or another, but 100% of the sales do get donated for this. And I love this because of the fact that I can literally just take my fingertip, get a little bit on it, like that much, and it will cover my hands. I love it. Set that back off to the side. And then I also had them get me a sample of Dark Angels, which is their charcoal face wash. And what you do is you take just like a quarter of the amount that they put in here, add a couple drops of water, and just wash your face. A little bit of it goes a long way. I haven't tried it yet, but it is next on my list along with that Clinique because of the fact that one of the reasons why I love Lush is that all of their products are 100% natural. That's why I really wanted to go and ended up getting a couple samples along with a couple of other things. Now then, pardon me as I look down at my phone, because I need pictures for names of things. <laughs> Hi, Ninja. Okay. Now then. Um. Ninja, I love you. Get out. <laughs> You're cat, Kelsey, I'm telling ya. Alright, this first thing that I got is a bath melt 
so it'll melt in the bathtub instead of being like a fizzy bath bomb or anything like this. And this one is the Melting Marshmallow Moment. And it does smell like marshmallows. I love it. And I probably got glitter all over my nose now. <laughs> but it is a moisturizing marshmallow. Something whipped up with cocoa butter, almond oil, and the sweetest cotton candy scent. I cut off part of the sign when I took the picture on accident. But it definitely does smell very sweet, very fresh. As I try to not drop it. <laughs> Alright. What are you? You are... Oh, you have this one as well, Kelsey. <laughs> Kelsey and I got a lot of doubles, so you'll be seeing a lot of these things twice. Oh, phone. Gotta find the right picture. Aha. This one is called Pink. This one is one of their bath bombs. It is very... I want to say fruity. I feel. I'm trying to read this sign. Um. Yeah, no. My hand must have been shaking when I was trying to take the picture. Because I can't read it. But it smells almost like... I don't know. It smells very fruity. Again, very fresh. It's a very light scent. But I love it. I don't know why, but I tend to gravitate more towards the fruity or floral or candy scented things. I'm weird. Okay, this one's my bubble bar. And part of it just fell off. <laughs> Ooh, this one's more florally. Okay. This one's called Big Bang. What was the last one called? The last one was called Pink. Simply Pink. Okay. I'm looking at the sign that was sitting by this, and it said, Start bass off with a lemon myrtle bang. So it's got a lemon zing to it. Probably why it smelled more florally to me, <laughs> because of the lemon. I love it. I don't want to put it down. Okay, two more things for me, and then it's Kelsey's turn. And you'll have to excuse her if she sniffles a lot or whatever today because she is currently fighting a cold. Oh yeah, I forgot about this big boy. This one smells sweeter to me again. Almost like a uh, cotton candy scent. Almost. Okay, this one is Dragon's Egg. And that doesn't help me with the scent at all. Because it says, Bathtub fireworks, fizz, froth, fruity fragrance, what more could you ask for? That doesn't help very much. But it does smell very fruity, almost like fruity pebbles, kind of. At least that's what it reminds me of, like fruity pebbles or fruit loops. It's very big boy. And then there is one that I don't have anymore because I already used it. But I know Kelsey has it so you'll still see it. And I'm trying to read what it's called. Can you make that out at all, Kelsey? It's Fizz something. Fizz banger. There we go. Fizz banger. Because you can totally understand what that picture says, right? Totally. <laughs> but it's yellow and... The one thing that I didn't realize was when I put it in the bathtub, I wish I would have filmed it. Um, it turned, it had blue on the inside of it, so it turned my water green. And that one, I do believe as well, was another of the more 
fruity scents. And then the last thing that I have is another bath melt, which is called You've Been Mangoed. And it does have that very, like, mango orange scent to it. And, it, like, I'm literally just holding it in my hand and it's melting in my hand. So, this one will be very, very nice in a bathtub. Alright, Kelsey. I do believe it is your turn now, Dee. Hey, guys. Sorry if I sound horrible. I'm fighting a cold. I'm sick. Um, but I'm going to show my Lush stuff that I got. Um, I'm going to show the stuff that me and Angel both got at the same time. Um, and I'll show the stuff that's different from her. So I got the pink, just like her. It smells really like bubble gummy to me. I really like it. Maybe that was the scent that I was trying to pick up that couldn't get. I got the fizz banger like her. I got the dragon bag like her. Um... And then one that we both got, but she already used, is this slime. It is called... Sorry, I'm trying to look at my receipt to see what it's called. Um... Big Bang Baby? I thought that was the Fizz Banger. Big Bang is the bar. That is Fizz Banger. Oh. So what one did you... I used Fizz Banger. Oh. Well, she used this one. It's yellow. I wonder if they're going to be different colors on the inside. Probably not. I didn't get a picture of it. So, that sucks. But, anyways, moving on. Sorry, as I blow my nose. <laughs> I'm very sick, sorry. Um, then I got this um, massaging bar. Not exactly sure okay, get a close up of that one. Oh, that's one of the pyramid looking. From Dust Till Dawn Massage Bar. And it has kind of like a manly scent to it. That's why I got it. So I can use it with my boyfriend and that he'll like it too. He won't smell all fruity and girly. <laughs> which he doesn't like, so got that. We haven't used it yet, but and then I got this, which I'm gonna be covered in glitter now. But yeah. It's called the Golden Egg Bath Bomb. And it smells like vanilla, vanilla y, but it smells really good. And it leaves your fingers very, very glittery. Very glittery. So that's fun. I'm excited to see what that does. I have glitter flies everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but you also love your glitter. I do. And then I got this ladybug one that's a uh, bubble bar. Mm, I'm not exactly sure what this smells like. Yeah. I don't have the best smelling right now because I'm sick. <laughs> it's almost got like a minty smell to it. Yeah. Let me see if like I a picture. mint. It's got like a very minty almost with a mm. lemon. Floral minty bubbles is what the sign says. Floral minty bubbles. So. I was yeah, right on the mint. I thought it was really cute. It's like a little sleepy bug. And then I have two more. I got this one. That's a bubble gum. It smells so good. Um, it definitely smells like like bazooka bubble gum. Is what it reminds me of. It's called Creepy Candy Bubble Bow Bubble Bar. So it's a bubble bar. Um, but excited to use it. It's cute and it smells delicious. As Ninja jumps back onto the couch. <laughs> As Ninja, my cat. You might see Charlie in the background. He's a little orange tabby. Charlie! He's staring at seagulls, but you can kind of see him. As his head moves from side to side. Don't mind the mess of our apartment. <laughs> and then I got, uh... Is that the melting marshmallow? Yeah, I got the melting marshmallow bath bar, too. Or not bath bar. It's the uh, bath oil. Bath oil. Smells good. It might leave you a little pink and orange, but that's okay. And a little glittery. And that's it. Don't waste too much money, but it's totally worth it. And I'm excited to use all these. And it was a very, very fun trip for all of us. 
Kelsey and I had a blast going up to Lush. Like, we made a special trip up to a mall in Grand Rapids, which is about an hour away from us just to get all of this stuff. So, we definitely had a lot of fun. And that's it for this video. We will see you guys next time. Bye.